matter how much you decide on TV. Every single gun law is an infringement. Period. I ain't just saying it's just to say this. The state is a criminal crooked organization. So you look like a buffoon thinking that you can save this. Look in the big daddy government every time this may hit. Fools done killed a quarter of a billion. Men and women and children all through the their ill sins over the last century. So why would I fiddle with them? This crap is not meant for me. Let their power get real in. They act like I can't govern myself. So they keep running for help. Back in the state to monitor wealth. And you'll get thrown in the cell. Deviate, they throw you in jail. Maybe you the one that's crazy with that bad mental health. So I think you really should back up. Man can't govern himself. But can rule over everyone else. That don't even add up. And every time I'm bringing this up to you, you get mad, huh? But that's the reason I remain fearless and pick this bad up. This ain't a gimmick. This ain't a joke. State agents of it is really out there ruining people's lives, and that's the source of a lot of people's problems. All right, guys, welcome to the final episode of the AR Build Series 2.0. Uh, in this video, I'm just going to be discussing my afterthoughts and uh, some of the things I encountered, whether that be positive or negative, uh, during the build or during the course of my range time with it. So uh, some of you may have noted that I didn't need a gas block, gas tube, uh, and I could have just went with the 22 long rifle chambered barrel. But like I said in the uh, video where I discussed the conversion kit, I just had this thing laying around, so I really wanted to put it to use. And what better time than right now to spend less money on ammo at the range by using you know 22 long rifle versus 223 556. So that's the reason I went uh, with a 5.56 chambered barrel and just to cover up the gas port on the barrel, I went ahead and used a gas block and gas tube. But yeah, some of my uh, thoughts at the range, um, you know, it's it's a blast to shoot. You can shoot this all day. Uh, you can teach your kids or, or uh, you know, people that haven't shot before. Uh, you teach them, you know, the fundamentals of an AR uh, without the loud noise of 223556. That's why I saw the benefit in this. And especially right now, the prices of 556 are just sky high. So yeah, some of the negatives, of course, 22 long rifle, not the most reliable ammunition out there. So you are gonna have a couple of hiccups. I only encountered maybe two or three at the range where it was just it struck the primer or the, you know, the, uh, the back of the the case where the primer compound is on the inside um, and you just don't get anything no boom bang or nothing so but yeah this rail rail is super rigid um, it was super easy to install and it's got these nice locking tabs and on the bottom there it's super secure the optic I played around a lot with uh, pushing it out uh, keeping it in close Kind of found a middle ground here right in the center and uh you know I, I was able to get a really good sight picture on it let me go ahead and turn that on as you can see there yeah i really like this sight picture uh you know as far as that camera view is that's about as close as i'm as i'm getting that's kind of what i'm seeing on the uh at the range right there but yeah this this optic is great it's trigicon trigicon quality Super clear glass. I love the green reticle much more than the red. Um, and then this charging handle. So there's a couple times, and I'll, I'll demonstrate it here, uh, where it would get hung up just like that. So as you can see, uh, the way it, it works or is held in place when it's inside the upper receiver, it's got those little locking tabs. So sometimes when I would, if I would just kind of Pull it back not all the way or not let it go from back here forward uh, sometimes it would get just get hung up right there if I was easing it forward not an issue you can just you know slam it home or pull it back again however you want to do it um, and then obviously I could also shorten the ejection port there's a couple half size covers I can get um, or even little blockers 
So you can cut this, this one down and get a blocker and put it here. Um, with that, when I'm shooting it with this big, you know, regular size uh, ejection port, I was getting a little bit of powder blowback or even gas blowback in my face, uh, but none from the charging handle. And I'm not sure if that's because of the design of the Strike Industries and how it has those gas port redirects right there. Uh, but they were doing their job. Usually, uh, if I'm shooting 22 long rifle out of an AR, I get a lot of blowback uh, in my face. But yeah, it was nice that I didn't get anything like that. And the brace attachment, that KNS Precision um, Picatinny adapter, works great. Um, I'll show you guys how it looks on the inside. So, get a little bit of marring up there, but nothing has gotten too bad. Uh, and that's mainly from the um, this top portion of the conversion kit. But yeah, nothing, nothing to report, you know, negatively on the KNS Precision. And the brace, awesome. This is so cool, you can fit this in a little backpack, super short, and uh, I just loved, I love doing this, I could do this all day, just flip it out like I did in that intro there. It's so much fun. And it's super easy to put back, and it, it locks in real nice, right there. If you guys got any questions on the, this build, uh, or any of the, you know, specific parts I used, uh, just drop a comment down below. Uh, oh yeah, one more thing to note is these magazines. Um, they're super hard to load. I would recommend that you get something like a, uh, a quick load device. I can print one off of my 3D printer. Um, I just hadn't gotten around to doing that yet. But yeah, I definitely recommend using a uh, some type of quick load device because these are you know, 22 long rifle just kind of rolls around, but yeah, once you, once you start getting it up in the 20, 22 range, uh, those last five to three rounds are pretty hard to load. Yeah, like I said, just drop a comment down below if you got any questions on the build, the parts, or anything used in the video. Thank you very much for watching.